Rain from this storm has caused flooding for many of the upstate and parts of Western North Carolina residents. That water has been moving down to the low country and communities around the Santee River feeling those impacts. Officials in Georgetown County taking action to prevent major impacts. And this week, the State Department of Transportation closed several roads along low lying areas like Powell Street, Harris Landing and parts of Highway 17 A. And we're told law enforcement will be stationed at all closures to prevent people from driving through those flooded areas. River levels are expected to reach 23 feet and peak at 24 feet. This comes on Monday. Officials are encouraging people to double check road conditions before heading out the door. In the meantime, just ask people to you know, be patient, exercise caution. Uh, don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. Um, and uh, just you know, any guidance that, that comes out from uh, local officials, we ask that you adhere to that because it's with your, your safety in mind. Now again, officials want to remind you to check updates on road closures and emergency services. You can do that by visiting the county's website, gtcounty.org. And the North Santee Community Center is open as shelter for anyone who may need to evacuate a flood-prone area.